Structured Query Language using the MySQL Relational Database Management System. What is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language and is used in manipulating data stored in a relational database management system, also referred to as an RDBMS. SQL, more commonly referred to as SQL, provides commands in which data can be extracted, sorted, updated, deleted, and inserted. SQL can be used with many different RDBMSs, including MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, Access, and the list goes on. In this tutorial, we'll be using the MySQL RDBMS, and officially it is known as MySQL, but is also referred to as MySQL. This is the world's most widely used open source RDBMS and runs as a server providing multi-user access to a number of databases. MySQL is a popular choice of database for use in web applications and is used in some of the most popular websites on the internet, including Flickr, YouTube, Google, Twitter, and yes, even Facebook. MySQL is primarily an RDBMS and ships without a GUI interface. That is to say, it's not an application that you can see, that you can touch and feel, so to say. So there are many different ways of interacting with the data in the MySQL database management system. At the most basic level, this is assuming that you are not using a GUI interface or an application to interact with your database, you could use your Windows command line, for example, to execute queries and to interact with your database. Then there are other GUIs, including web applications like phpMyAdmin, and then there's MySQL's official standalone application, MySQL Workbench. Now in this tutorial, we'll be using the MySQL Workbench application to interact with our database. So in order to follow this tutorial in its entirety, you will most definitely need the MySQL RDBMS, which you can download from dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads forward slash installer. And then depending on your operating system, select the right option and download. And then this is not a prerequisite for the tutorial, but if you are an absolute beginner, I would suggest going and downloading the MySQL Workbench application, uh, seeing as we are going to be using that in our tutorial. So in my browser, we can head over to dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads forward slash installer. Now this version of MySQL is assuming that you are using a Windows operating system as this is what the tutorial is based on. So this link will take you directly to the Microsoft um, install file which you can download. It is relatively big as this includes the full MySQL package. Um, you just click on download and once it's done you will install it on your system. If you're not using a Windows application uh, or Windows operating system just click on the downloads link and um, down here you can choose the the specific or the correct version for your operating system. Um, click on the MySQL community server and then here you would choose the one for your specific platform, depending on what you're running on your PC. Then in order to download MySQL Workbench, we'll go to mysqlworkbench.org. And once the page loads, you can just click on download now. You'll see this redirects us back to the MySQL website. Uh, seeing as this is their official standalone application, um, you can then just scroll down and select the correct installer for whichever operating system you are using. You'll see in the previous screen that we were in, under Downloads, there's also the option to download MySQL Workbench, um, which is the application which we use. So you can do it from here as well. All right, so get those things downloaded, install them on your PC, and uh, then we can get, get cracking on the tutorial.